what it ought to be without a union between husband and wife and God. So, reason why the marriages are thus, the oneness has been broken. The fellowship has been broken. How has it been broken? The way Eve got it broke is the way we are having them broken. Eve failed to the personal temptation of Satan by failing to use the word. So, getting back to that original marriage, um, we want to look at our marriages today. Before we look, we talk about chocolate, we talk about um, sending a message, we're mm-hmm. talking about you no know, flowers, and all that that spice up and uh, do a lot of good things. Mm. Let's look at how, why the world became what it is, and why are our marriages the way they are. Mm-hmm. Marriages are in trouble today mm. for the same reason that it failed the first marriage mm-hmm. of Adam and Eve when Eve failed to use the word and Adam disobeyed the word. Mm. In marriages today, we are failing to, uh, to use the word. Mm-hmm. When situations arise, we are not using the word. Mm. When troubles come, we are not using the word at all. Mm. We are where we are in our marriages because we are blatantly disobeying the word. We know what the word says about the situations that we come across, Mm. but we disobey the word. We are now accepting the influence of our background. Mm. We are now accepting the influence of our weaknesses. Mm. We are now justifying our weaknesses Mm. instead of taking the word, instead of obeying the instruction of the word, Mm -hmm. we are no longer doing that now. We are taking advices from friends, from relatives, Mm -hmm. from parents, Mm -hmm. from the internet, Mm -hmm. advices which are contrary to the word. That's correct. We have now become the know-it-all type of people Mm. who are no longer guided by the word. Mm. We are failing to apply the word and we are disobeying the word. Mm. If you look at your marriage, why it's in a mess, mm. why there's no sweetness, why why there is there is wars and rumors of wars, mm. why there is fights, why there is no harmony, you are no longer applying the word, you are no longer living by the word. Mm. We have become modernistic in our approach to marriage instead of applying the word. We are no longer using the word as our manual for our marriage. Mm. We are now listening to our own understanding. We mm. are leaning more to our own understanding. And much of our own understanding is weaknesses. Much of the things that we, we raise up in our marriages are weaknesses. Mm. Instead of crying and saying, Lord, help me destroy yeah, right. these witness, weaknesses, we are now upholding those weaknesses and then mm. we are now ruling and reigning and running our homes by our weaknesses. Instead of being shaped by the word, couples are now being shaped by Hollywood. Hollywood has become their envy. We are shaped by what we see on the television. Mm-hmm. We are shaped by what we hear, we yeah, read sure. on the internet. Instead of using the word, we have got all other things that we are now taking. We are now substituting the word. 
That's why we have run into these shallow waters. That's why home is no longer pleasant. That's why home, your married life, is no longer an example. Mm. Couples no longer have the way as their mm. rock, as their rock bed. It's no longer the way. Whereby they will say, honey, but the word says, the prophet says, mm. let's line up with what the prophet says, led, mm. directed, guided by the word. It's mm. no longer that. People have become too busy, less reading of the word. Mm. People have become so occupied with nothing, less praying. People have, have become, I don't know what, mm. until there's less listening of the message. Whilst there's less praying, less reading the Bible, less, li less of listening to the message, but there's more time being given to valueless WhatsApp chats, mm. useless internet programs. Mm. You find the person can spend another one hour watching football, mm. valueless, mm. but he doesn't have time to listen to a tape. He doesn't have time to read a chapter or two in the Bible. Oh, he doesn't have God. time to pray, but he can expend hours and hours of, of, of programs that don't add any value. Mm. Help us, Lord Jesus. Why are our marriages thus? Mm. Our marriages are thus because we are failing to use the word. Mm. Our marriages are thus because we are no longer caring of the word. Husbands, they don't care what the word says anymore. They only care about what they say. They have forgotten. By neglection, they are, have become even the head of the word. Instead of being the head of the woman, they've become the head of the word. What they do, they don't compare it with the scripture. The behavior they have towards their wife, they don't check it with the scripture. The words that come out of their mouths, they don't check them with the scripture. The attitude they have towards their wives, they don't check it with the scripture. People are now just doing like in the times of judges. They're just doing as their mind and their hearts mm. desire. Friend, why are our marriages thus? He failed to use the word. Adam failed by disobeying the word. Same with the wives. They don't care. They don't even worry about what the word says. The way they respond sometimes to situations that are, are, are not pleasant. They, 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 no one worries about what they say now. People are now upholding their I'm emotions. I'm so privileged to have such a father in law. So it's a 20 minutes clip, so I had to cut it. But I think I will upload one day the full clip because there's a rich something that he said. 